So what do you do when you receive your Rotap RX29 sieve shaker? Well, first you cut the straps, but then we find it best to disassemble the box piece by piece with a box cutter. Cut off the four top flaps and discard them, and then begin cutting open the corners of the box from the inside, revealing your brand new RX29 Rotap. And after you've completely cut off the sides of the boxes and discarded them, it's time to get the sieve shaker on a heavy duty table. The RX29 weighs 178 pounds out of the box, so it's definitely recommended to lift it either with two or more people, or use a forklift, crane, or any other machine designed to lift heavy equipment. So out of the box, the RX29 comes with three replacement corks, a six foot long power cable, the RX29 manual, and inside this box is the sieve cover with a cork already installed. Now it's incredibly important to bolt the RX29 to a table. Otherwise it will absolutely 100% of the time shake its way off the table, destroying everything in its path, including itself. So as you can see, we've already drilled the holes necessary into the table. From there, line up the RX29 up with the corresponding holes and proceed to use half inch bolts to secure it, which doesn't come with the RX29 unless you buy the test stand. The opening for the bolt is 0.63 inches, so a half inch bolt is perfect, but a 516 inch bolt can work in a pinch. A socket wrench and regular wrench is recommended to make this part as quick and efficient as possible. This thing ain't going nowhere. Okay, now it's time to turn the sieve shaker on and run it. First and foremost, plug the power cord into the back of the Rotap and into any standard outlet, no extra amps required. This will turn on the control interface. Raise the hammer up and now it's time to add the test sieves. The RX29 specifically uses eight inch test sieves, so set them down on the base plate and from there, we find it's an easier time to raise the sieves above the top of the Rotap, set the sieve cover on the top sieves and then lower it down until it's flush with the top of the upper carrying plate. And make sure the sieve cover is always flush with the upper carrying plate. This will ensure that the hammer tapping motion hits the cork at the perfect velocity. And since we're not using a full stack of sieves, we have to tighten the handles to keep the base plate from falling. Since the base plate is in the way of the handles, the handles need to act sort of like a socket wrench. You can pull on the handle to move it outwards, so when you turn left, it doesn't loosen the handle more. Then you can release the handle for when you turn righty-tighty until the handle becomes snug. Once the two handles have been securely tightened, all that's left to do is lower the hammer and set your runtime. You can hit mode to show the numbers if they're not on display, and from there, just hit the up arrow to set the runtime with options starting at one second and going all the way to 99 minutes and 59 seconds, and finally, press start. So as you can see, this table looked pretty sturdy, didn't it? Well, it's no match for the power of the RX29 Rotap sieve shaker. The heavier the table, the better, but even a heavier table will start to walk with a sieve shaker running on top of it. So in basically every case, the table should be bolted down to a concrete floor to stop the table from moving. And that is how to unbox and set up a Rotap RX29 sieve shaker. But stay tuned, in the future we'll be covering how to replace parts with a Rotap maintenance kit, show you some easy tricks to make things easier, and even go through the process of running particles through an RX29. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link in the description and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.